Red cool. Lobster is on a quick path downhill to nowhere. Red Lobster is toast. toast. <laughs> it's done. They are closing at least 48 of their restaurants around the country. And you know, this is actually really funny to me because 13 days ago was my wife's birthday and I told her to celebrate, we're gonna go to Red Lobster. And she was less than enthused, but I told her that oh, where, when God. we were in the middle of a thrift store and I took a poll of everybody in the thrift store of who likes Red Lobster and who doesn't. Just because I talk loud naturally, everybody was like, have fun at Red Lobster. I was like, we're all invited. We couldn't find one within 100 miles of here, but it seems like nobody will be able to find one within 100 miles of anywhere. The general consensus was that the only thing they went for was their unlimited shrimp. If you love shrimp like I love shrimp, Red Lobster's endless shrimp is kind of a big deal. And the general understanding of what perpetuated this charge in the closing of all of these restaurants is their unlimited shrimp being a staple on their menu brought them to bankruptcy. Which is so fascinating to me because like that was their thing. For 18 years, it says that was their thing. I, I, so how did it last for, my question is if it lasted for 18 years, yeah. why now? What has so, happened I now that triggered it? So glad you asked. Blame. They had two things that were famously theirs and it was unlimited shrimp and it was the cheese cheddar rolls right yeah. those were their things that's what everybody knew them for that's why you go to red lobster however red lobster did not offer the unlimited shrimp every day forever it was special times where they made the offer however as we know with any great establishment that ends up failing it normally is a result of a change in management and it, there was a company that came in that said oh that is the night that we're most successful. That is the time that we're most successful. Let's play in that success and let's make it a permanent resident on our menu. Add it to the menu full time, profit margin decreases, the amount of people that are coming into the store decrease because when you can get everything ever, the desire for it decreases significantly. It's common economics. You know, the, the higher the supply, the lower the demand. And yeah, they're endless, but they won't last forever ironic that's exactly what happened here they oversupplied the market with shrimp there wasn't enough of an appetite people will go once a week for shrimp knowing that they can only go that once a week and get the good deal once you offer it to them every single day it's no longer a good it's deal no longer it gets special. lost in the noise exactly yeah it's no longer something so special. oh a management decision say it ain't so i know that seems to be you know one of the biggest things and it's it's sad to see because red lobster not that I was ever a huge fan, I'm not a seafood guy. However, Red Lobster was always, I could always count on Red Lobster to, to really be there when I needed a restaurant to make fun of. And now that I don't have that, <laughs> I'm thoroughly disappointed. <laughs> Red Lobster is no more, and now I'm gonna have to pick on Applebee's, and I'm a fan. Oh, no, no, it's Crapplebee's. It's okay. How dare you? It's Crapplebee's, it's fine. Listen to me. Everything will, on that oh. menu is microwaved. <laughs> Everything. And it very well might be, but oh, I'd rather be have microwave pasta than microwave shrimp. Well, the shrimp are probably microwave too. It's, yeah. It's, it's, they're all, it's all just as bad. Yeah. Right. Ke Kelly's right here. You still have Arby's. We'd like to take a moment to announce that ah! all our food keeps blowing up. <laughs> Arby's is trash. I've only ever been to Arby's once. It was with you. Fully it regret rough. it. It was it rough. It was very rough. We were, we were roughing it. <laughs> oh, yeah. What a time. 